Instead of this starting page after installation of Symfony, what I want to have here is my to-do list application. So the first thing I need to do is I'm gonna move the template to Symfony and this template is downloadable for this lesson. If I open this template in the web browser, then I obviously have here a static content. There is nothing dynamic here. What I want to do now is to move this to Symfony and build dynamic to-do list application. So I'm going to copy this folder and file. I'm going to paste it to the catalog where I have Symfony installed. Now I'm going to open my application in my editor. I use Visual Studio Code and I type VS Code dot to open my editor. Obviously you can open this project in your own editor that you use every day. Visual Studio Code has opened uh, in the second screen in my case. And this is the editor in which I have opened my application. As I mentioned earlier, the server is going to look to the public folder. So I'm going to move CSS folder to the public folder with my CSS styles. And now I'm going to install first controller. It is responsible for, among other things, for loading views. So in order to show my first page, I need to install my first controller. And how can I do it in Symfony? In Symfony I can run the following command. bin console make controller and to-do list controller which is the name of our controller. I click enter and I see that it doesn't work. As I mentioned in the theoretical part of this course, after installation of Symfony there is a very few catalogs and files and here almost nothing can be done. To be able to fully use Symfony we need to install on the ongoing basis the libraries that we need. And in this case there is a lack of library that creates controllers. However this command is not necessary because we are able to create controllers manually. Here we can create a folder and create uh, controllers manually. But I'm going to use what Symfony offers us. So in order to install controllers in Symfony, we first need to install a package that allows us to do so. This package allows us to create not only controllers but also entities and so on. This is the following package. Composer require Symfony Maker Bundle Dev. Dev flag means that we only need this package in the development environment. I click enter and we are waiting a few seconds to install this package. The package was installed and let's try making controller and we see that we still have some missing package. The missing package is called uh, annotations. This package is responsible for routing. Routing is something which binds the URL in the address bar with the controller method to be executed. Because Symfony must know which controller and which controller method is going to be invoked when we click some link in our application or take some other actions. For this purpose we need annotations package. But in Symfony it is possible to create routes in other way. So it is not absolutely mandatory to install an annotations package. We can utilize a standard traditional way, as it is for example here, but here it is commented out. So for example in the URL address there is nothing except a slash like here. 
and it is going to execute uh, the controller method of a specific uh, controller. But I'm not going to do this in this way. I'm gonna use annotations. And I'm going to show you in a moment how to use it. At first, let's install this package. The package was installed. And since now, I will be able to install my first controller. We see success message. And my controller was installed in the src folder. And this is my generated controller. And this is the route that I was mentioning about. This is a sample route generated by Symfony. The name of the route will be useful in views files, but more about this later. And we can test our sample route. And we see what response we expect to get. In this case, this is the JSON response. So let's try it out. And it doesn't work. I use Apache server. And because of this, I need to use htaccess file. If I take a look at the public folder, I see that there is no htaccess file, so I have to make it. Composer require Apache pack. Symfony Apache pack. I click enter. Here I click yes. And I see that I have htaccess file installed. And after refreshing the page, I see that it works. We have displayed the first effect on the web page according to what is defined in our controller. And now, instead of JSON response, I want to load view in my application. And in order to load views, I need to install a package for this. Composer require Twig. Twig is a template system used in the Symfony framework. OK. So far, I installed these packages using Symfony Flex, which causes that I have uh, less to do. It does additional things for me. For example, installing a Twig causes not only that the Twig was installed in the vendor directory, like here, Symfony Flex also created a templates folder where I'm going to store my view files. And the first file that was created is base HTML Twig. This is the basic HTML layout. As you can see here, there are some basic HTML tags that are in every web page. And in the body tag, I'm going to store the content of the concrete view. So this HTML will be used by every web page that I'm going to have in my application. So I'm going to create a first view file index html twig in the case of this application i'm going to have only one view because this is a very simple application now what i'm going to do is to tell symphony that my view uses this base html twig file i do this in this way so two curly braces percent percent and extends base HTML twig. So this view uses this template. The content of the page is inside the body tag. So what I want to do is to overwrite this block. So I'm going to paste it here. And between these two directives, I'm going to write some content. This is specific page. And the same I can do with other elements. 
For example, I can have uh, separate CSS styles for a specific page. I can also have uh, separate JavaScripts. Or even the title tag dedicated to the specific page. This is specific page title. So in this place, a title tag was overwritten for this specific page index HTML twig. And the same with JavaScript files and whatever block you imagine. Okay, let's save it. This is not going to work yet because I want to get rid of this uh, JSON response and load view. Return this, render, and as an argument I provide the name of our view. Index HTML tweak. And let's also change the route. Let's save it. Now there is no route because I removed it. Okay. And notice what happened here. Despite of the fact that I didn't write here any HTML tags, we can see in the source of the page that there is here HTML that comes from our base HTML tweak template file. And this is exactly how it works. But as you know, I have prepared my own template, so let's cut out it from here and paste to base HTML twig. And let's cut out all the content that is between these body tags. and paste to index file. And if I want I can change the name of the tag and obviously HTML code needs to be between these two tags. And exactly the same tags I need to define here. So block content and block. So into this place in the template there is going to be pasted uh, all this HTML. Let's save it. We can remove this empty file and let's refresh the page. We have moved our template to the Symfony application.